Hey everyone, I'm Clue. So if you didn't know, some of the first content I actually made on my channel was Elden Ring, right? Playthrough, some testing of mechanics, as well as some novelty fan lore dialogue for a lot of the bosses, because I always felt that the, the storytelling design of the Souls games wasn't as suitable for Elden Ring, given its scope and how rich the game is, as compared to, again, the little dribs of Souls and the overall thematic feel of the normal Souls game. But that aside, obviously, Trailer for the DLC is fantastic. I did scroll through it and there was one thing I saw straight away that made me go, yeah, this, right here. We will watch it its entirety, but especially with the stagger animation, what does that remind you of, right? The running, the singular curved ax in hand. Bloodborne for PC, maybe? But anyway, we'll watch it from scratch and see what we can figure out. Peggy 16. Pure and radiant, he wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. I'm curious if the egg is going to be the entryway into the DLC. At the very least, we all knew thematically that's where they were, they were going to go with it. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft of light? I presume you too are keen to know. Just what kind Mikola is doing here. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. In the embrace of Vesna's flame. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. So, interestingly, looks like there are new locations, or potentially just locations slightly altered. It does look like we are just in a a separate world of the of the main region which is is fine because again one of the big things for me was the scope of the game was massive right and that was almost a disservice to the game right felt like things were a little too far apart especially on replays right going through all the same grinds you just want to run past it you don't feel like you have the incentive you did when you first played to clear every single thing in the game right because that is a massive undertaking so it's very interesting if it is for most of the dlc just revisiting the world in this this altered realm, the shadow plane, right? I think that would be very interesting. And we can see, you know, new things bring to light aspects of the open world that we weren't truly intrigued by, right? Because they weren't main points of interest, but now they, they will be. People are also interesting, right? Because looks like the queen 
if I'm, if I'm getting any characters wrong, right? Forgive me. It's been ages since I've played. The bear spell. That was actually quite interesting to me. So boss A, giant wicker man, does it look like? Well, it's made out of cast iron, right? So that's curious. Giant furnace. Lamprey. You can see inspiration again from all the different aspects of, of souls, which is fantastic. This little manticore guy is pretty cool. First, Godric. Because there, there was a hand that came out, right? Grab the skull. He's holding it more so. Yeah, you can see it's a... Uh, it's, it's it's almost like a grafted on the inside with a lion head. And then our true boss. So of light. Where was that? There was a bear spell. It looks very much like the dragon spells. Yeah. And instead of a dragon head, it's a bear head, it looks like. So I'm curious if that's an enemy or, you know, we're going down an alternate alternative spell design path where you know it's nature instead of dragons. Could be interesting. Just what kind is doing. Dancers. Hungry, hungry hippos. That cave definitely looks familiar, does it not? Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. To be honest, I, I never had an issue with the amount of reused assets. I always thought it was a pretty fair game, especially when they polish off the design. Hitboxes, obviously that's that's not really forgivable. But the reusing of assets, or even just consolidating everything into like a giant FromSoft library was always this cool idea to me, because it would definitely streamline porting, for instance, to anything next gen, or even just creation of new content. Right and speeding up all all the development time if they had a, a singular library for every single asset, which definitely appears like they are and they are pulling stuff over. Again, this looks like Fishman from the Bloodborne DLC. Where was he? Right, just the way he moves straight away and the parry animation definitely. What was it the Son of Paws? I, I can't remember. And new spells look interesting too. Especially the Crucible Knights, the actual wings. May we meet again. I will not be Don't want to have full access to everything. May we meet again. That we see in game usually. I'm not wrong, right? It is the same landscape, just in this alternative plane. Does it have a date? It does have a date, fantastic. So it's June, so it's not far away either. Three months. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, that's, that's enough time to, to replay. Gesture. And there'll be a new edition, which is interesting. I might pick it up for PC. I think I have it on PlayStation. Okay, actually, I can't remember if I have it on PlayStation or PC. I think I have it on PC, because I think I end up getting a new PC just for it, right? Like that. Well, not just for it, but that was the point where I said, all right, I'll, I'll get a proper PC. And then, well, we all know how launch went, so that wasn't fantastic. Right, Kane Castle, and then main castle. Either it's very similar. This is the only one that sort of looks quite different in terms of place. Like the, the closest I can point is the little mine area, right? The alternative way to, to skip. Uh, was it skip going to Raidan and, and doing the bell, right? That is reminiscent of one, that one lava dungeon, right? That's the capital, correct? Still looks the same? No, it's, it's slightly different, is it not? Or is this the... Prosody. Let me know. Yeah, and it has been ages since I played. That's probably the best thing to do, is, is do another playthrough and look at stuff closely. All this in mind. 
There's not too many new weapons that they're showing off. Hopefully there's more emphasis on Torin as well. That was also a shame. I don't think there is any... They're not showing any mount of combat, right? Place. Blood of your fellows. Your fellows. We are on Torrent, but we're not really doing anything. More weapons in hand. Something dual. Shield. Rest of light. These are cool. Like the Bloodhound saber, but now dual. Throwing weapons. You're actually comboing them too, so they kind of seem like their main hand weapons. I presume you too are keen to know. Repeating crossbow. Chester, maybe? Bokhtanas. Dancers' weapons. Pink lightning as well. This this weapon was kind of interesting. Come now. Touch the it's a shield and a pike. No, well, that's a shield. It looked like the animation was doing something. Like a heavy overhead. And then a new crystal spell. It's like. May we meet again. Exciting, nonetheless. Not too far away. Anyway, let me know what you... Oh, I didn't say collective edition. Eh. Ah, so we have a name for this guy. Mesmer... Why is it not pausing? Thank you. Mesmer the Impaler. As the... The main person of the DLC. That's interesting. That's not Mikola. Um, with a serpent as well. Interesting. Anyway, if you enjoyed, let me know your thoughts. Point stuff out to me. I'll thoroughly enjoy it. Anyway, see ya.